Helix is 45 years old, almost. That's a hell of a lot of years. In fact, I would bet that a lot of you people out there watching right now weren't even born, weren't even a sperm of an idea when Helix first started playing the bars. And that is precisely why I decided to put down in this little poem a little Helix history lesson for you people that I call the story of Helix. And it goes like this. <clears throat> Once upon a time, way back in 1974, five long-haired guys got together in Kitchener, Ontario. They were looking for a rock and roll party, fortune and fame, and Helix was our name. So we hit the road. Well, we rocked and we fought our way across the great white north, from sea to shining sea, from Vancouver Island to Halifax, and all points in between, and a half an hour later in Newfoundland. We had this guy in the band called The Doctor. He played an ES-335 Gibson guitar. He wore the official NHL-approved, NBL-approved, NFL-approved Peter Pan getaway boots. He sang about a guy named Billy Oxygen, who only had 14 days to fly. 14 days to fly. We played every shithole, every smelling of piss, puke-filled rock and roll bar from coast to coast. Six to seven nights a week, three to five sets a night with a Saturday afternoon matinee. We ate craft dinner and made shit money. But we loved it because we were rock and roll gypsies with fringe benefits, sex and drugs and rock and roll. And then, in the early 80s, you remember the early 80s? Do you remember the 80s? Do we have any old school rockers out there tonight? In the early 80s, the unthinkable happened. Helix was signed to a worldwide big money USA record deal. Did not only that, it was with one of the biggest labels in the world, Capital EMI, the same label that signed the Beatles for shit's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it made in the shade. Or so we thought. You know what EMI stands for? Every mistake imaginable. But it was a good year for a heavy metal love in the MTV. So... We took our brand of Canadian metal from the Great White North, south of the 49th parallel to the U.S. of A, to play with a guy named Lemmy and his band Motorhead. From there, we hopped across a pond to play in Europe with the world's hottest band, KISS. 13 countries in 32 days, from Lisbon, Portugal to Helsinki, Finland. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we were living the rock and roll dream. We had the chicks, we had the drugs, we had the tours, we had just about every goddamn thing you could possibly want or desire, and then along came Mr. Buzzkill, the 90s, and the whole thing went to shit. Now, whereas the 80s were pretty good to the band Helix, the 90s, not so much. In fact, if you want to get right down to it, the 90s fucking sucked. We felt like there was this black cloud over our head, raining down tragedy and negativity and bad vibes. The 90s were nearly the death of Helix. But they say what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. And that's what happened to us. We got stronger. We got leaner. We got meaner. We got better. And then finally, one day in 2008, fate collided with the rock and roll gods and the original 80s lineup of the band, Brent Derner, Greg Heinz, Daryl Gray, and myself, got back together. Along with a young kid that looked like Jesus Christ and who called himself the Duck Man. And the rock and roll gods looked down and they said, It is good. Cale has been in the band now 10 years. That's a decade. That's a hell of a long time. And so he's written his own chapter in the story of Helix, so give him a hand. Nice to have you along for the ride. Back here behind me, on the kit, a guy that's been in the band since 1982. His first gig was playing accordion in an oompa-pa band. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give a warm welcome 
for the original Mr. Rock and Roll Oktoberfest, Great Fritz Heights! On my left hand side, representing the Irish contingent in the band, a guy that's been in the band since 1985 from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Mr. Daryl Gray! In 2014, the good Dr. Derner decided to retire. He was a big part of the band, and so we knew that whoever we got to replace him was going to have pretty big Peter Pan getaway boots to fill. Peter Pan getaway boots! Ladies and gentlemen, from Cambridge, Ontario, Mr. Happy, everybody's friend, Peter Pan of the Helix Band, Mr. Christopher Joe Lee Guitar! My name is Brian Vollmer. I'm the only one of this bunch that's been crazy enough to hang in there for all 45 years. And people keep asking me, hey, when are you going to retire? Never! They say, hey man, you get too old for this shit. And I tell them, well, rock and roll is a fountain of youth and I keep getting younger every single day. Then they suggest that maybe I should move over and let the young blood in. And I tell them, coulda, shoulda, and woulda. And five cents, I'll buy you a donut. So don't be square. I'll see you around. Catch you on the flip side. Because there ain't no rest for the wicked. Yeah!